Two exoplanets orbiting a red dwarf star have been discovered to be water worlds, where water makes up a large part of their mass. In the constellation Lyra, these planets are located in a planetary system 218 light years away. In Nature Astronomy Today, a team of researchers led by Caroline Piole of the Trottier Institute for Research on Exoplanets at the University of Montreal published a detailed study of Kepler-138. Using NASA's Hubble and Spitzer Space Telescopes, Piale and colleagues observed exoplanets Kepler-138c and Kepler-138d and discovered that they may be largely composed of water. Kepler-138b, a smaller planet closer to the star, had previously been discovered by NASA's Kepler Space Telescope. There is also evidence of a fourth planet in the new study. While Kepler 138 C and D were not directly detected as having water, astronomers conclude by comparing their sizes and masses to models that up to half of their volume should be composed of materials lighter than rock, but heavier than hydrogen or helium, which make up the majority of gas giant planets like Jeter. Water is the most common candidate material. In comparison with Earth, planets C and D have volumes three times larger and masses twice as big. Until recently, most planets just slightly larger than Earth that have been studied in detail all appeared to be rocky worlds like ours. Researchers say the closest comparison is some of the icy moons outside our solar system that are mostly made up of water. Oceans may not exist directly on the surfaces of the planets like they do on Earth. The temperature in Kepler 138d's atmosphere is likely above the boiling point of water, and we expect a thick, dense atmosphere made of steam on this planet. Only under that steam atmosphere could there potentially be liquid water at high pressure, or even water in another phase that occurs at high pressures called a supercritical fluid. Thanks for watching.